How's it going guys? Welcome back to Crafting Cars. In this box here, I have a set of APR Formula GT3 carbon fiber mirrors, and today we're gonna to be installing them on our 1997 Honda Civic Coupe. But before we dive into that install, I've got a couple cool updates I'd like to share with you guys. So the first update is about our 2006 Honda CRV daily driver. Now my girlfriend Lauren mainly drives this thing, but it was badly due for a brake job. So the front rotors were really warped, the rear rotors were pretty rotted out, and I figured it was about time for an upgrade. So we hooked her up with some R1 Concepts drilled and slotted rotors. While I was in there, I ended up snapping one of the lug studs and I noticed that both the rear calipers were seized up. So we got those swapped out as well. And yeah, it was definitely well worth it. And now Lauren is dripping in street credibility since she is rocking drilled and slotted rotors with Acura TL wheels on her special edition CRV. Doesn't get much better than that. And the second update is I installed some new window trim and resprayed my B-pillar molding for a nice clean look. And that means I can finally throw away my old dry rotted window trim. Another thing I did recently was I drained all the old gas out of the Civic. I just used a 6AN to barb fitting um, to a 3 8 hose and this hooks up directly to my fuel line. And then with the Honda software, I set the fuel priming time. You know, when you turn the key and the fuel pump primes, I set that to 25 seconds. And after about like a minute and a half, I had completely drained my tank. That worked really slick. And lastly, the biggest update, which I'm sure you guys have noticed already, is we have a new camera and microphone setup. So we're recording with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and it's synced up to the DJI Mic 2. And this is a pretty awesome setup. It kind of fills in the gaps where my old Sony phone falls short. Now we're gonna have less issues with overheating. We're gonna have longer battery life. We've got motion tracking, which is pretty cool. And then we also have, yeah, the stabilization is a lot better. It's got a built-in three axis gimbal. This thing is famous for taking really smooth rolling shots. It films in portrait and landscape, no problem. And with the microphone, there's a bunch of added benefits. We got cleaner audio and we have level audio. So no matter how far away I am from the camera, the audio is gonna sound exactly the same. And that's gonna help me out a ton with editing. And all this was possible thanks to you guys. I bought this setup completely using YouTube ad revenue and a couple of your guys' donations from the live stream. So yeah, I cannot thank you guys enough and I hope you guys enjoy the improved quality. Now let's get back to this install. So let's take a look at all the good stuff that comes in the box. So here we have the APR plates. We've got the APR carbon mirrors. This is the cool part. And you can see that it's got a blue tint too. That'll help with glare at nighttime. And it looks like we got all the hardware we need. But anyway, I guess we'll start with putting the stems into the carbon mirrors. And we'll line up the threads on the top there. We utilize our plastic washer and our flat screw. And that's one. Now as for attaching them to the base, looks like we got this round piece here, a little flat washer, and then the stainless steel plug. Now I noticed these already have a plug inside of them. It's a black one. I don't know, I guess we'll go ahead and take that out of there. Whew. Yeah, so here's the plug they put in there for you. And then this is the plug we're gonna put back in. So we're gonna take this piece of hardware with the ball end and send it stud first through this hole. And then we'll go ahead and drop in one of these locking washers into the same hole. And then take the stainless steel plug and thread that into the hole and that'll tighten everything up. And that's how you get your swivel. Now it looks like this plate will be on the passenger side, so we'll go ahead and take our passenger side mirror here, thread it on. Now I can't get it too tight by hand because obviously that ball in there just wants to spin, but it looks like that stud has got some flat spots, so we'll see if we can put a wrench on there. Uh, okay, so it looks like a 5 16 wrench will do the trick. And it looks like we got six M5 screws here. We'll be using these to mount the base plates to the car. One quick thing I noticed before we mount the mirrors to the car is in the instructions it says, place the factory gasket to the new carbon fiber mirror billet base. Now, I threw out my factory mirrors a while ago, so I don't have that factory gasket, but if I remember right, it's just a foam gasket. Now, I don't have any foam laying around besides the foam that came in the box with the APR mirrors. So I'll see if I can cut this up and make kind of like a makeshift gasket and I'll probably just hot glue it in place. We'll see what we can do here.
All right, our homemade gaskets are glued on and they look pretty good. So I think now we're ready to install these things on the car. Alrighty, so before we install our new mirrors, obviously you gotta remove the old factory mirrors. Now, I removed mine months ago when I painted this car, so they're already off the car. But to do that, just gotta pull off this little speaker here. Um, some people have the tweeter on there, some people won't. Otherwise, it's the exact same process. You got your plug here, this is for my power mirrors. Like I said, some people have this, some people don't. If you do have this plug, there'll be a little white clip here that you're gonna have to pinch and kind of shove through that hole once you take the nuts off of the three studs. So these three holes here um, used to have studs going through them with little, I think they were eight millimeter nuts. So you just gotta take those off. I recommend using just a box end wrench because you're gonna want one of those to get down in this little crack here. Now some people recommend taking the door panel off, but if you got a little bit of finesse and some ball end Allen wrenches, you will not have to do that. So all we're gonna do is take our mirror here. We got the three holes, gotta line them up like so. And we'll start with the easiest, this top corner here. And I'm not gonna thread it in all the way yet. I'm just gonna wait to get our other bolts started. Now move on to this inner corner. This is gonna be the trickiest one since the door panel does kind of get in the way. So we'll go ahead, get our bolt in the hole, immediately put our Allen wrench on it, and see if we can get that started here. Perfect. So it's a little bit of a funky angle, but that's where the ball end comes in. Before we snug it down, I'm gonna make sure our mirror looks good from the outside. And I think it's worth noting that that silver plug we used to adjust the tension on the mirror stem is still accessible. You can see it in there. So shout out to APR for the good design. And we're done. Let's take a look at it from the outside. Oh yeah. Now there ain't nothing wrong with that. That matches up nice. So it's cool we got the matching design elements here. We have the carbon fiber mirror, which ties in nicely to the carbon hood. And our carbon duct filled trunk here. It flows really well with the wide body. The mirrors stick out pretty much exactly the same length as the fenders. Having the matte black with the silver hardware looks good with our Lexan windows with the silver hardware. And it's all come together really nice. I don't know how this would look on a stock body Civic. Maybe a little silly. Maybe it's best to stick with like the spoon style mirrors for those cars. I think I'll step outside so we can get a look at what it looks like from the front. Very cool. All right guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. If you like the mirrors, leave it in the comments down below. If you hate the mirrors, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, if you're liking what you see, don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. And subscribe and turn on those notifications because we got a bunch of little updates coming up on the Civic and a car show coming soon. It's actually 30 days from today we are gonna be attending the Modest Premium Automotive Showcase. So this car's gotta be street ready and show ready for that bad boy. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm excited. We're gonna be very busy these next couple weeks, but I'm pretty sure we can get it done. Now, uh, I know we can get it done. And another thing, thank you guys for the support. I think when we hit 6,900 subscribers, we're gonna celebrate. This time we're gonna do a podcast episode. So I think Lauren and Logan are both on board. So we'll sit down for an hour and talk about car stuff and maybe some you know life stuff and everything like that. I got a road trip coming up soon, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll be posting pictures of the mirrors on Instagram, um, some higher, higher quality photos, and you can follow me there at afton.voit.ej8. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.